Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the simple gouache illustration in Procreate. Let's start. Create a new canvas, A4 canvas from Procreate. And here's a color palette I will be using. You can download it, link is in the description. Let's take this first color here and drag and drop it to the canvas. We are going to draw the sky first. Now let's take another color, next one in line. And let's take the selection tool and here at the bottom select the rectangle and turn on color fill and select the rectangle like this a little bit higher than the middle of the canvas. Now let's tap here to finish and let's take another color, next one in line. Let's take the selection tool again and select the rectangle lower than the previous one. Make sure those colors are overlapping. Tap here to finish and let's do this again with the last color from the first line. Select the rest of the canvas. Tap here to finish and now we want to blend those colors together. To do that let's go to the adjustments and pick here Gaussian Blur. Swipe the pencil on the screen to add the blur size and let's make it 68%. Tap here to finish and now we can make a new layer to start drawing the trees. Let's change the color. Take this dark green one here and we need to pick a brush. Let's go to painting and here is the gouache brush. We are going to modify this a little bit. First we are going to duplicate this brush, so swipe it to the left and pick duplicate. And now let's tap on this new brush here and we can change it. Let's go to rendering and pick here uniform blending. And that's all we have to do. Tap on done and the brush is ready. Let's make the brush size 17% and start drawing the trees at the bottom of the canvas. We're going to create here a big mass of trees. Let's color this inside. Since we are doing this with a gouache brush, it will be more like a painterly style of the illustration, so it's fine if this is not like a solid color. Now we can take another color, next one in line, and we are just going to add some more variation of the color to those trees. So just add this color randomly in few places, you don't have to be here precise. Okay, and now let's take another color, third one here, lighter green one, and add it to our trees. And now we can go back to the first color, the darkest green. And let's make the brush size smaller, 10%. And we can draw some darker spots in our trees. This will define the shape of the trees. Okay, now we can draw the mountain in the back, behind the trees. So let's make a new layer for this and move this layer underneath the layer of the trees. Let's change the color, take this one here and draw very loosely a shape of the mountain. Don't use too much pressure here, this should be very light.
When this is finished, we can draw our mountain in the foreground. Let's make a new layer for this, on top of everything. Let's change the color to this dark brown one here. And we can make the pressure a bit bigger, 16%. And we are going to draw a mountain like this. Big shape. We are going to define it in a moment. If you are enjoying this video so far and would like to draw more of me, please check out my Patreon where I have more tutorials like this. Link is in the description. Let's make the brush size now 7%. And we can just make the edges of the mountain more defined. Ok, and now we are going to add some light to this mountain, and this way we will create the shape of the mountain better. So let's change the color, take this one here, let's make the brush size 14% and start drawing the parts of the mountain that will be in the light. This way we are creating the shape of the mountain. So just draw something like this. Now we can make the brushes smaller, 5%, and we can just work on the top edge of this mountain. I'm just making those lines sharper. Now, if you think you exaggerated here and you have too much light on the mountain, you can always go back to the other color, to the darker one here, and you can take away that light. So just draw on top of it, creating more shapes in the mountain. Ok, and now we can maybe use the eraser and erase the top edge of the mountain, make it even sharper. Let's tap on it again, and here select also the gouache brush. Let's 
Let's make the brush size 9% and just work on the top edge of the mountain. The mountain is ready, we can move on and start drawing clouds. Let's make a new layer for them, on top of everything, and let's pick the color, this first one here, very light purple one. We are still going to use the gouache brush, and we can make the brush size bigger, 24%, and very loosely we can draw a shape of the cloud. You can really just doodle it, don't think about it too much. So let's draw a few clouds like this. Now we can make the brush size smaller, 11%. And we can work on the edges a little bit more, adding some more color in there. And also draw smaller clouds. Now I'm going to add some more color on those clouds, make them brighter in few places. Just like that. And maybe let's draw one more cloud here on top. Now we can start adding more colors to the clouds. Let's take the next one in line. And just draw it on top of that cloud. Let's keep it on the left side of the cloud. This will be the shadow part on the cloud. So let's do it for all the clouds, do it very lightly. And now we can take another color, next one in line, and do the same. Now I'm going to make the brush size smaller, 5%, to draw on those smaller clouds. Okay, and the last color here, this darkest purple one. Add some more shadow to the clouds. Again, I'm doing this very loosely. Just keeping that shadow on the bottom part of the clouds and the left side of them. I'll make the brush size 10% now and draw it on the bigger clouds.
Now we can maybe go back to that first color, the lightest one. And just work on the shape of the clouds a bit more. Make them maybe a little bit bigger. And now we can add it also on top of the cloud. Make some brighter spots in there. The clouds are ready, now we can add some shadow and light to the mountain, make it more interesting. To do that we are going to make a new layer, let's tap on the layer of the mountains and make a new layer above it. We want the light to be only visible on the mountain, so we have to set this layer to clipping mask. For the shadow we are going to change the blending mode of this layer, let's tap here and pick multiply. Now let's take the color for the shadow. It will be this dark blue one here. And we can draw it on the shadow part on the mountain, just making it a little bit darker there. Only in a few places. Let's make the brush size smaller, 4%, so we can draw more details. Ok, and this is enough. Now this is a little bit too dark, we have to change the opacity of this layer. So let's tap here and turn it down to 49%. Now we can make a new layer to draw the light. We also want to set this to clipping mask. And now we can change the color, let's take this bright yellow one. With the brush size 8%, Draw some light on the mountain. It will make them more interesting and pop more. This is enough. Now we can change the blending mode of this layer. Let's set it to soft light. We can also add some shadow to the trees. So let's make a new layer above the layer of the trees. Set it to clipping mask. Change the blending mode to multiply. And let's take the color for the shadow, this dark blue one. And draw with it in few places only, at the bottom of the trees. Like this. Maybe a little bit here, not too much. Now we can turn on the opacity of this layer. Let's make it 63%. And now at the end, to show the scale of this illustration, of this landscape, we can add a person there. Let's make a new layer on top of everything. Change the color to this dark brown one. 
Let's make the bear size very small, 2%, and draw a very simple shape of a person. Something like this. Let's make the brush size maybe smaller, 1%, and add some more color on the right side of it, to make it look like there is shadow on him. And now, maybe I will just make him a little bit bigger. I'm going to take the arrow tool, and I'll just make him bigger like this. Okay, and now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please share drawing with me on my Instagram, I would love to see it. And here I have a special shout out to my big fan supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for being there with me and supporting me there. Thank you so much for watching and see you next video, bye!